everyone, this is Sarah. And this is Johannes. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And today we are taking a look at Mysterium Park. We love Mysterium, or I at least love Mysterium. And this is a like simpler, shorter version of it. In a park. In a park. It plays from two to six player players in yes. 28 minutes. Exactly. Very 28 minutes. If you yes. play longer than that, you lose. You're playing it wrong. You yes. are, yes. So this is a smaller version of Mysterium, basically. First of all, the first thing you'll notice is that it doesn't play eight players, it plays six instead. There's a couple of fewer players, but how often are you eight players, especially now? If yeah. you're if you are two, you'll be lucky. <laughs> so yes. Mysterium Park is a smaller version of Mysterium. So let's just I'm gonna Think that you have played Mysterium or think that you can go and watch another video on Mysterium So I'm not gonna like go into the big changes, but I might do that now because that's usually what I do I say yeah. I'm not gonna do this on this and I'll do it anyways and you do it anyways So in Mysterium one player is a ghost and the other players are psychic Investigators trying to find out who killed the ghost and where the ghost was killed in Mysterium Park That is what you're gonna do. So this is how the game looks you have a board here And then you're gonna put out nine of these uh, persons They have a lot of different uh, items or different things to make them more unique And then the ghost is gonna draw one of these cards that might look like this and it's gonna say which colored player has a Which of these cards because the players are trying to eliminate people that didn't kill the ghost so now, in this example, if I was the red player and you were the ghost, then this was the card that you wanted me to guess. And then, of course, if it was the yellow player, you wanted to guess that player, and uh, the blue player wanted to guess that one, and so on. There's also a witness here, which if you guess that later in the round, then you can do a do-over, basically. So it's kind of like a, a free space if you do something wrong. So the ghost then is going to be like in Mysterium, giving these awesome clue cards with different cool artwork on them that doesn't have anything to do with anything in this game which is what makes the game hard so the ghosts can then give out these clue cards as in mysterium give as many they want to each player and then the players are going to guess so let's say i guess this then the ghost is going to say it was wrong if it was right woohoo i'm happy then uh, then we're going to have go to the next round we're going to continue playing until all the players have guessed the person if we still have more turns left, hopefully we have, we're gonna put out uh, areas or um, locations instead, and we're gonna do the exact same thing with locations. And then after we have done the locations and the persons, there's no weapons in Mysterium Park, only player persons and locations, then the uh, ghost player is gonna have left three persons and three locations, which might be the right ones. We're gonna place a pair of a person and location in each of these. I'm gonna draw the last one of these cards which says a number and that is the row that is the correct one and then they have to take two of their cards that they have in their hand one is going to be a clue for the player person and one is going to be for the location they don't tell which is which shuffle them give them to look at them and then you can guess if you guess correctly everybody wins Huzzah! and if they guess wrong nobody wins boohoo yeah <laughs> and the ghost is sad and will never be free so it's kind of a sad game at the end very thematic heavy <laughs> gameplay there so that is basically what you do in mysterium park and already if you have played mysterium you have seen some changes so i think we're gonna i'm just briefly gonna talk about the changes like what the big changes are and then we yes. can uh, talk about what we think about it, what we think about changes what we think about this and uh, do you even need mysterium so basically we have already i've already talked about some of the changes it's basically two rounds instead of three so it's person location and not weapons and it's also like the big change is that it is a lot less setup. We're gonna talk about that soon. But also the fact that everybody has to stay in kind of the Persian round until everybody is finished. You can't move on to the next round until every, or the next category to guess before everybody else has guests. And those are kind of the big changes for the game. Uh, it is because of that shorter, and it also has like the theme of a Mysterium Park, so or of a park. So especially in the locations. There are a lot of the cards that have kind of the same um, same flavor, like the yeah. same, like a lot, like this is the Mysterium Park, this is still at the park, this is Into the Circus, this is one of the uh, games you can play, this is uh, Backstage, like there's a lot, this is the entrance. There's a lot of them that have kind of the same theme, which makes that round harder, which kind of makes up for there only being two rounds instead of three. So those are the big changes to the game. So uh, the big question is then, what do you think? Let's first talk like the, the, 
The artwork here is, is kind of like this. Do you like the artwork here? It's kind of. I don't remember if it's the same person who made it, but it. Oh, this, I, I really think so because yeah. uh, the the style on the persons mm -hmm. and the uh, locations are yeah. really similar to the first yes. one. It's just another theme, mm -hmm. and I really like it. Is the similarity of all of the locations being in the park makes this a little difficult. Yes, but that is good. Yeah, that is cool. And also, I really love the artwork on the cards. There's so many crazy... Yeah. What kind of things are the artist here on when he draws yeah. them? It's yeah, it's very surrealistic. Like, yes. everything here is just weird and abstract. Not abstract, so but very... so cool, yeah. I love this. This is kind of like a... It's kind of like the Dixit. Like, yes. the, the, that's where it started. I like these a lot more. I like mm. the Mysterium and also in this Mysterium part. These are very great. Of course, I can all just, if I'm bored of the cards in Mysterium and want to play Mysterium, I can just shuffle these cards and use them instead. Yes. And probably they have thought like, oh, maybe there's some color schemes, maybe there's something that works with this, but it's not going to break your game. Mm. It might make the game harder, but that's kind of the only thing. Mm. So you can use them in Mysterium as well, but well, you need to because you might not never need to play Mysterium again after you play this. <laughs> so um, first of all, let's talk about like like you like Mysterium. I know you like it more than me. I really like it. Mm -hmm. It was in my top fifty. I don't oh, remember yeah. exactly where, but I really love it. And and sometimes it's a little hassle to set up. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate it being this simple. Yeah. Um. There's just a lot of things I like in Mysterium that I also like here. Mm -hmm. so I think they have absolutely su successfully trimmed it down enough for mm -hmm. it to be in uh, a new game, yeah. but also keep the things which I love. Yeah. So first of all, is it a new game? It's not really. Like it's 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 it's, it's, it's the same yes. game. It's ninety percent the same game, and then yeah. I changed a couple of things. If you have played with the like the, the original rules in the. Uh, English version of the game, then you have all of these stupid rules about the, um, I don't remember, the, like the clairvoyance where you can guess if others were right and you get some points and maybe you get to look at some more cards or fewer cards at the begin at the end, yada yada. We actually, I played with that once. Other than that, I played with the original Polish yeah, rules, we didn't like that. which were a lot better and that's when I'm back to your head, it's, it's easier, less rules. Yes. It's so much easier to teach people this game. Yes. Also because there's less stuff, like it's not like, oh, then you have to remember to go up there and you have to put mm. it over here and you have to do that and yes. this. Not that Mysterium is a hard game at all. And also like it's, it's so much less stuff for the ghost. They have mm. to look at this card and that's the only thing they yeah, need to look at. Yeah, in Mysterium we have this D&D &D board that the is around you sheet, and yeah. all of these images is on the back sides you're mm -hmm. just like and that makes it a little easier now because as it goes now yeah, you have to kind of yes. peek a little yeah. and but um, I, I when we laid the persons on the mm -hmm. table I solved it by not looking at who's which first and just taking a little look yes. at the ghost first. I, I really like that this is much simpler. Mm -hmm. But that is the only downside. Yes. Is that you don't have somewhere you can just stare at the cards. Yes. Because there might be a... Like that's one of the downfall falls in Mysterium. If yeah. you play some cards and the people say, Oh, it's behind, oh, down here in the back. And you sit and the ghost like, I didn't see that. What? And now you're going to lose because I didn't see that one little thing in the background. And that is kind of a, a downside here. Because you have to, as a ghost, I think... It would be good actually like to wear a cap or something. Oh yeah. Because then you can sit and look at all the cards and people won't see exactly where you look if you don't do this. <laughs> but then like, oh, which one do you want? Oh, let's just give me two seconds. Okay, I'm gonna give you this clue. Like that would be very bad. Um, so but, that is yeah. kind of the, the, that's a negative thing. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a, like a, a good playoff. Like it's a good, uh, yes, I, agree. I don't remember the, I don't remember the name, like the, a trade-off. Yes. Uh, a good trade. Like, it's, it's worth it because of that, so you can then use, as I said, like a cap or something if you want that. Or just like, I, I can sit like this and look, if I just don't stop at one for a long time. You just have to like, think about what you do as a goal, mm. and not stare yeah. at one and then give out the cards. Since, since this isn't a new game, yeah. this is, these are for us familiar concepts, mm -hmm. I want to cut right to the chase. Is yeah. this, do you need this, or do you need Mysterium, mm -hmm. or do you need both? I say you need this. Yeah, but like, we need to talk about why. And one of the yeah, reasons, yeah, the yeah. first reason but was the setup. I think it's easier to just say my opinion and then say why. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I'm... all, all I want to just, um, yeah, explain why I'm saying the things that mm -hmm. I'm saying. Okay. Um, 
I think this took a shorter time. Mm -hmm. Not that mystery it takes long. It's nope, easier to like an hour set up. or forty two minutes with the boxes. <laughs> yes, and also I get the same things that I want out of Mysterium mm -hmm. in this process. As I said, they haven't in the trim down. They haven't taken away stuff that I miss in this yeah. game, and I really like that. So you can you can set up this game, you can teach it, you can play it, and you can put it away. I think in forty five minutes. Oh yeah, which easily. is a, a great thing. Uh, so so yeah, basically I agree. Like I would I never have the desire to play Mysterium again. I like Mysterium, but as you said, I don't. It's not one of the games I will be like, oh yeah, I need to play Mysterium. And be, but I like the concepts of Mysterium, mm -hmm. and because this takes a minute to set up instead of maybe five, six minutes to set up Mysterium, and it's a le le less on the table, you don't, if you are five people, you don't need to reorganize everybody so that nobody can see behind the screen, you don't have to spend three minutes putting all the cards into the screen, and all of that, so this is so yes. much better. Like I would say, I would say this is a lot better than Mysterium. This is a very successful way of taking a game, taking the core elements of the game, the fun part of the game, yes. putting it into the distilled box and just make it perfect in that way. I agree. They've done such a good job polishing mm -hmm. Mysterium and yep. make it shine. And I really like Mysterium still. Mm -hmm. If I want this Halloween evening with my friends mm -hmm. and light some, uh, I don't know, candles. candles, yes, and make it like really ghosty, I mm -hmm. would definitely play Mysterium because it has more of a table presence mm -hmm. and you can more like role play with the ghost sitting behind this. Yeah, you can role play a little bit in this as well. It's up to your imagination, but that's the only only time, unless I'm playing with eight people, of course, yes. or seven, that I, mean, I, that I need Mysterium. I would I, choose but, this. Uh... I would choose this in any other scenario. Yeah. So if you don't own any of the games, then I should. I think you should. If you're not always eight people. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is strange. I think I think you should go for this. If you already love Mysterium, mm -hmm. I think you should go for this as well because you can combine the two games if you if you want to. Or just use these cards. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like kind of like expansion pack for cards. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you said it all. Like, I, I feel like they've taken the fun things about Mysterium, made it shorter, and you don't feel like you miss anything. Like, oh no, I'm not going to find a weapon. That is boring. No, then just play another round if you want to play again. Yes. Uh, and that is very, very good. So one thing I have to say, which yes. doesn't have to do with the game, because the game is just basically, it's Mysterium, only they package it better, made it better flowing, made it easier to set up, and made it not more fun to play, but more fun to play because of those things. Mm. But one thing that also makes it fun to play is because of this insert. Because this is one of the best pre-produced in pre inserts I have ever seen. It is basically perfect for this game. So down here you have the tickets which the ghost can use to get new cards. You have the uh, piece over here that is basically round the, the round marker. And those are nice, like nice, nice slots for those. Then you have a big pile here, so those are still. Then you have these, which is the witness marker that you can use, uh, that you can place if somebody plays at the witness. And these that you use that when, when somebody cor guesses correctly. On top of those, you are gonna place all of this. Like that, and also the ones that are on the table now. I, I'm gonna need to take away this later, and then we're gonna go to one thoughts if you yes. don't have anything else to add. No, it's okay. And here you have all of the player pieces which you used to guess. Those look nice, the same ones as in the Mysterium. Yep. So, so far you have a place for everything. Then you have two slots here. You basically just take I this like and that. put it in half. So this is a very good thing. And then just to top it off, I am gonna do this now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and then to top it off like this. This fits inside of here perfectly and then when you put the 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 top over here it's 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 perfect aligned like this so it can move anywhere and look at the size of that box it's and, perfect and it's that is so perfect nice. it's yeah. so good use of space and the insert for this is amazing so should we do some final thoughts or do yeah. you have anything you want to add before we do final thoughts for mysterium park no we can go to final thoughts you can begin i didn't think it was possible to make mysterium any better because i really love it uh the way it is for me actually we can almost sell mysterium now or, for me we can yeah because this has all that I need. Yep. I really like all that I've done with the game. I'm barely nothing, no, nothing negative to say about it. I'm going to give it a nine. This, cool, wow. This, uh, wow. is top notch. That is amazing. So I like this. I think Mysterium is a good game. It might be maybe like a 6.5 or a seven. 
Like it's a maybe oh, that a seven. Is low. Like a seven. <laughs> it's it's a good game. It's, too it's a game, game I enjoy when I play, but I don't ever. I would not be sad if I ever never played it again because it's it's fun, but it's not one I think about. Oh, I want to play Mysterium now. It's more the fact that we are many people are like. We need to play something fun. People here haven't played enough games. Let's play Mysterium. Yeah. That's kind of like the, the order of that happening. I know we can get this out and play it in so short amount of time. Another positive thing I didn't, I didn't, I forgot to notice is that it's so much easier to be the ghost. So oh, it's yeah. a lot easier to give somebody that opportunity to try out to be the ghost because yes. there's not so many things to look at. It's not like a big. It's a bit. It's it's also less intimidating. Like if yeah. you are a bit unsure, a bit unsure if you want to play the ghost, then it's so much easier. You need to look at one card and look at the board. It's not all of that stuff, which makes it a lot better. And look at the box. Like this is just a perfect size box. You get so much gameplay out of this. The only sad thing is that it's not possible to put any expansions in here without taking out the insert. So if they make like a new deck of cards, that's not gonna fit. Mm. But then again, if you get one more of this, like maybe they now make Mysterium Park, then maybe they make another one with another oh, yeah. theme. Oh, that would be cool. And then Do I won't, that. I won't mind having three of these on the yes. shelf with just different themes, and and that would be very amazing. I would be surprised if they didn't have that idea already because that is. Very simple expansion stuff. You basically just you need to give new us money now artwork. You can do it <laughs> and I like this a lot. I like this better than Mysterium. I don't see any reason to own Mysterium when you own this. The only thing is like it looks better, mm. but it's not often you need that. So this is a very good game. I'm going to give it an 8. Cool. I think it's a very good game. And now this is one of those party games where I can just... I, can, I, I will suggest this yes. as a party game. I wouldn't suggest Mysterium because of the setup and teardown, but this absolutely. Cool. So that's a 9 from you, that's very high, and an 8 for me, and that's the end of this review. Thank you so much for watching! Please remember to subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications every time we put out a new video, which is usually three times every single week of that the year. That makes us happy! It makes us happy every time you subscribe, because we like subscribers and people viewing our videos, because it's, it's fun to make videos when people watch them, and that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Johannes, I'm Senua. and you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings, and bye-bye!